when I walked up the steps, I'm like, oh my God, I would love to be able to work on this. It would be like an honor to work on this house. It's beautiful and it's got, but it was too much work. He thought it was gonna be too much work and he says, well, let me just show it to Lisa. And I walked in and the first thing I saw were 12 foot ceilings and said, we have to buy this place. She's like, oh my God, we've gotta have this. And I don't care, uh, I don't care how much work it takes because uh, according to her, everything only takes an afternoon anyways. Can we make this happen? <laughs> and the whole house was dysfunctional. I was excited about it because the, uh, the facade is, it's, it's a classic Edwardian facade. It also looked like it hadn't been touched. So it just gave me a feeling like um, this is an opportunity. This is a place that other people aren't gonna be able to see. I ended up changing the layout a lot more than I thought I was going to have to. The kitchen was in the very back and it was a three bedroom, one bath. By moving the kitchen forward, we made this room, this space functional. And we went for the great room idea. So this way we're able to have the kitchen be part of our living room, be part of our dining room. And that ended up taking the entire design and ended up um, kind of being Not the basis for the whole front of the house. One of the things we did to eliminate a lot of the costs in the kitchen was to not have any upper cabinets in this side of the kitchen, this whole side. Well, and you also wanted to not have upper cabinets because you like the openness. You don't you, you feel like boxed in when all this wood is upon you. So it was a good way of taking care of two problems. L little bit of a downside for us sometimes when it comes to earthquakes, but we've never had an issue. One mistake we actually made with the bar, we built the storage all the way out to the very end of the bar lengthwise. And uh, what we probably should have done was actually shorten it a bit so we had seating around the, not only the far side of the bar, but all the way around the bar. It would have been nice, but at the same time, it's nice having the extra storage. We and have the extra storage. Six. We have the extra storage. Um, but but we, we do have to have people knock their knees on the side of the the cabinets if they sit on the end of the bar. We take those seats and we let the guests have the good seats. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that we wanted to go prefab on the granite because it's a difference of $100 a foot versus $200 a foot for slab granite. Prefab comes in all different sizes now, so none of this was custom at all. So we were saving a ton of cost by actually doing what was available at the time. And to be more honest, this granite we chose, we love it, but it was our fourth choice. My wife likes red and I like blue, and that's been our, you know, we go at it a bit on our design, but we usually come to a place in the middle, and this is what we came to. It's a darker color and it's a leather finish, and you can't see dirt, you can't see crumbs hardly, you can't see fingerprints. Uh, it's an amazing product. As far as behind the stove went, we wanted to stay really simple. Uh, one of our options was to buy the stainless steel thing that the, that the stove companies make. But uh, we came to a conclusion that we could do it cheaper and actually make it a little more unique by having a piece of tempered glass fabricated. And I painted the back of it to kind of give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of green hue to it and put it up with mastic in a two by four. One of my favorite finds in the entire kitchen is the chandelier we put in here. And uh, that was pure luck. Uh, we were looking for lighting for the house, not even for the kitchen. Walked into Lamps Plus and sure enough, I see a tag that says $64 on it and I thought for sure it was wrong. Asked him right away and said, I'll buy it. Alex was with me and he and said- And I actually said, I don't think we should get where it. Where are we gonna $64, put it? $64, where are we gonna put it? And it doesn't work and- uh, And you couldn't return it. And I said, we're buying it and we'll find a place for it and it fit beautifully in the kitchen. When I looked at the design and I looked at how this place, uh, kind of how it should look in the end, uh, I've always kind of felt you should keep as much as the old as you can, including the ratty old doors, which, um, you can refinish. You should keep you should keep as much as the trim, even though it's got marks and chips and dents in it, as you can. Um, and then you melt that together with some new elements. And I think that's where you're going to get uh, where I think this is going to be the, the, the nicest effect. <laughs>